Hi, I'm Allie Wertheim. And I'm Gina DiFederico, and today we're going to be making a homemade manometer. So what exactly is a manometer? A manometer is an instrument for measuring the pressure acting on a column of fluid. In speech, a manometer is used as a non-invasive method for determining a client's ability to generate respiratory driving pressure. To create a homemade manometer, the materials needed are a tall transparent drinking glass, tap water, a regular drinking straw, a strip of tape about as long as the glass is tall, a centimeter ruler, a pen, and a paper clip. This is what your manometer should look like. First, put a strip of tape on the glass vertically. Mark the tape in one centimeter increments. The first mark should be zero centimeters and should start one centimeter below the top of the glass. Label all the way down to at least 12 centimeters. Next, paper clip the straw onto the glass so that the bottom of the straw is midway down the cup. Then fill the cup with water to the zero level on the scale. Be sure to put the straw in before placing the water in the glass. Using the manometer, pressure is needed to displace the water from the end of the straw to form a bubble. To create a bubble, the amount of H2O pressure would have to match the depth of the straw. For example, for Gina to create an air bubble in the water that rises to the surface, the pressure she exerts into the straw when its end is positioned 10, cm 10 centimeters deep in the water would have to be at least 10 centimeters H2O. Now Gina will demonstrate. I was able to generate 10 centimeters pressure of H2O pressure. So how might a manometer be used to assess and treat pressure in different populations? One way that a manometer can be used is as a performance screening device. It can be used to determine whether or not the client can provide what might be considered to be the minimum pressure generating capability for speech production. An individual who can generate and sustain 5 centimeters H2O of pressure for 5 seconds has sufficient pressure capability to meet most speech requirements. Screening can be done by positioning the bottom end of the straw at a depth of five centimeters beneath the water surface and instructing the client to blow into the straw maximally and continuously until told to stop. If the client is able to continuously generate a steady stream of air bubbles in the water for five seconds, he has passed the screening. Another convenient use of the device is concerned with providing a rapid determination of the maximum pressure the client can produce. This is done by the combination of two procedures. To do the first procedure, simply have the client generate repeated maximal expiratory efforts into the straw while the clinician moves the bottom of the straw from the surface into the water deeper and deeper into the glass. When the client can no longer generate bubbles, the clinician knows that the upper limit of the client's pressure generating capability has been reached. For the second procedure, the client can be asked to generate repeated maximal expiratory efforts into the straw while the clinician moves the end of the straw from near the bottom of the glass further and further toward the water surface. Then at the sight and sound of the first bubble, cl the clinician again has determined the upper limit of the client's pressure generating capability. The client's success or failure to produce a bubble at a given depth can be used by the clinician as the determining factor as to which way, either up or down, the bottom of the straw should be moved during successive efforts by the client. Combining such a procedure with the timing of pressure generation, it is possible for the clinician to establish baseline function for any given client and use that information for rehab purposes. Populations who may be appropriate for this type of treatment include patients with traumatic brain injury, dysarthria, or neurodegenerative degenerative diseases such as Parkinson's disease or ALS. Singers are also good candidates because they must learn proper breath control. Thank you for watching our video on how to make a manometer. Go Huskies! <laughs>